Hey everyone, my name is LC, and today we have a new DC Heroes and Villains video. This is actually pretty major news. I mean, I got to it like three days late because honestly, I didn't know. I don't follow them on any social media platform. I just didn't take the time out to do it. But I have been alerted that we have some DC Heroes and Villains news. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it because this is pretty major for people who have been waiting such a long time. Now, the major news is the game's finally releasing in global. That's that's it. That's literally the news. We're, we're so happy for it. It's dropping. It's coming this month. Shockingly, I don't know how. I'm joking. I do know how. Uh, yeah, I didn't even see it coming. Not like they're gonna give it another month at least. But no, they were they were waiting. Not waiting. They were prepared. So they're dropping it this month for every region no matter where you're from so that's like a great thing obviously um another thing to note is that for those who like myself have played the game before the global release because how they released it in certain countries before the actual worldwide release um your progress that you've had on the account before it released it's not being reset so for those of you who are worried about your account being reset after the worldwide release, you don't have to worry about that because your account progress will be saved and nothing will be reset and you'll still have your characters, your progress, all that good stuff. So that is in, in itself is a good thing. Now, but just to clarify, I'm just going to read it off the website because it's just, it's more better that way. So basically, in like... The whole gist of it, the whole gist of the website is basically saying they're announcing the global release and then they're talking about the reset. I'm really talking about the reset right now because a lot of people, especially on the Discord, were asking whether if their accounts would reset and like a lot of people would be upset if their accounts were just like restarted because they did put a lot of work into that. And I agree with them because that is a lot to... Well, well in this game you might not see it, but I mean... This game isn't hard to progress in, but like it has some things that like might be a pay to win kind of flex, or it just takes a lot of like resources in, and you don't want to reset that. And, and no matter what game you probably start, you don't want to reset your progress where it's at. So now it also says here that the people who have had access to the game before the global release, so yeah, pretty much that. Um, they have helped uh, the DC Heroes and Villains team helped iron out, polish, and get rid of the like bugs and help in terms of the release for in terms of the global release. And that's honestly a good thing because there was a there's a lot of bugs. There was so many bugs that I just I couldn't stand it. Like it wasn't terrible. Like it wasn't like stopping me from playing the game, but like it was just hard to like let's say make a video on it or. It was just hard to like enjoy it for a majority of the time when all these bugs are there but so yeah it's good to see that good to see that those bugs are taken care of and that the, the game is finally ready to drop this month but yeah i think that's that's pretty much it it's not like a it's not a lot in terms in terms of news but like it's just it's just those two things but like the two major things because one the game's coming out very soon because it's this month right and two your account progress if you had the game before the release is going to be saved so that's the news that's all the news that we have for you today but that is a great thing it is honestly a great thing and i think that hopefully this game will be on a, a good track on its release and that they incorporate some of the fans ideas from it and hopefully this game can flourish like marvel puzzle quest because puzzle quest has begun is Puzzle Quest has been going on for such a long time, so it'll be nice to see like a DC puzzle game um, have that kind of longevity as well. But I'm gonna wrap it right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you guys like to see more DC heroes and villains content, don't forget to let me know as well. Like always, it's always a pleasure, and I'll see you guys in the next video.